Hey, welcome to Hostess Coach. Today we are making egg roll bowls. This is actually a Weight Watchers recipe because it is January, so we're all trying to be a little healthier, eat a little healthier, and this one just seems so easy to me, and you might have all the ingredients already in your pantry. So let's get started here. I'm gonna start with a little avocado oil. Of course, I got my pan nice and hot before, before you got here. Throw the pork in. This is one pound of ground pork going in. Let's get that started here. Oh my gosh. Let's see, can you see in the pan? See what's happening? Just browning the little pork. It is very, very lean pork, so it just looks great. So while this is getting going, uh, <laughs> have a little, I'll see you behind the scenes. I am gonna add in here the carrots, because the carrots take a few more minutes than some of the other things. So I'm gonna throw the carrots in, and I just diced them real small, so they cook fast. So throw some carrots in and get those started so I can get this done real quick. So we're gonna keep going there, browning our pork. It's get it's getting there. Oh my gosh, looks great, huh? So to our ground pork, I mean, look at it, it's not pink any, uh, anymore already. So to that, this pan is very, very hot though. I'm going to add, um, I have one jalapeno, just because I know we like it a little spicy. So the jalapeno going in, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put about half of the scallions in now so they cook with the meat, but I'm gonna save a few out to put on top for garnish. So I'm gonna put some scallion in and let that get going. Oh my gosh, smells good already. It's always good when onions hit the pan, don't you think? Oh, yum. So we got that going here. Now I'm gonna start adding in our ginger and garlic. So here I have a very heaping tablespoon of fresh ginger. <clears throat> Excuse me, and about, oh, three large cloves of garlic. But of course you do garlic and ginger with your heart, however you like it, whatever you like, more or less. I thought that would be good. So that's going in, ginger, garlic. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. It already smells like egg rolls. <laughs> so to that, let's get our other spices going here. I've got some soy sauce and we are going to put in here, let's see, three tablespoons of soy sauce. This is actually low sodium soy that I'm putting in here. But I read this recipe and I actually had all the things. So it was easy, I had to buy a head of cabbage. But that's in soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. So let's get that going in. One, two, and then we're gonna do a tablespoon of apricot preserves. I'm gonna use a teaspoon here, just put a heaping tablespoon. This is actually apricot jalapeno jam from the farmer's market, it's delicious. For my Ventura peeps, they do the best jams, those low sugar jams at the farmer's market, they're delicious. So that's that, and then a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. Get this one going in here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be here all night. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Toasted sesame oil goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. So we're just gonna put one in there. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of flavor. So let's give that a stir. Oh my gosh. So how do you like my induction cooktop here? I have a raving fan who would prefer I face the camera when I'm cooking, so he actually loaned me this induction cooktop and this is our first show using it so I can stay facing the camera. What do you guys think? Okay, so we've got our spices in there, our jam, 
And now I'm going to throw in some cabbage. So in goes oh, a couple big handfuls of cabbage. Now you could serve this as serve the meat part over raw cabbage, like for a salad, um, if you wanted to. You can also just buy some that coleslaw, the bag of coleslaw mix at the store, which would make this go even quicker. But I just chopped up some cabbage. This is half a head of cabbage. And that's just how I like it. I like to chop my own things, buy my own things, because you never know how long they've been in that bag. And who knows what they put on them when they put them in the bag. So, oh my gosh, this smells so good. So we're gonna give that just a second for the cabbage to break down here. And boom, that's dinner in what, like six, seven minutes? That's pretty amazing. And I was thinking today, when I was thinking about doing this show that you could take this mix and actually roll it in those rice papers, you know, dip the rice papers in water, the, the fresh uh, egg roll skins, spring roll skins, and then roll this in those and serve it with some peanut sauce. Yeah, that'd be good too. But tonight I'm serving this over brown uh, basmati rice, which I just cooked behind me. So we will serve up a bowl of this in just a second. I get this cabbage broken down just a little bit more and it's ready. So how about that? Egg roll bowls, quick and easy, and it is a Weight Watchers recipe. So it is very low points. Now I'm adding rice, so the rice will add points, but just this part, not much. Oh my gosh, this just smells and looks delicious. Looks just like an egg roll. <laughs> And this induction cooktop is really cool. It's really hot. So it looks like we got everything all cooked and ready to go here. So that is really amazing. So let's get a bowl here and serve some up and taste it. I wanna put a little pepper. I'm not gonna put any salt because the soy sauce has so much salt. So I'm just gonna put a little pepper in there, give that a stir, and then let's serve this and see. Show you guys how great this looks. Look. Yum, huh? Great. And give me your comments. Let me know what you think of the setup here. Okay, so over here, I just cooked some brown basmati rice. So let's put a little bit in our bowl. Whoop. And then I will serve up some of this deliciousness. It smells so good. It smells exactly like an egg roll. This recipe, there's two of us, it would serve four e easy, light eaters. It might serve six if you have a couple kids or light e uh, eaters, but there's quite a bit going on here. Okay, there we go. Rice bowl, egg roll bowl, and then of course you can't finish anything like that without this. My very, very favorite. I finally found it back in the store. It's been hard to find for the last couple years, but it is back and I love this stuff, the sambal. This is not the garlic one, this is the regular. But I'm gonna put a little sambal on here because I love it. And then boom, ready to go. A couple scallions on top, garnish. And how yummy does that look? Ready to go. Thank you for watching as always. I love your comments. Don't forget to follow us here and thanks for watching. See you next time.